It's your boy Fictional Arts, and I'm coming at y'all with a figure review of the Tamane Asagi Igawa Second Axe NATO figure. And boy, if I can tell y'all, man, bro, it's been a long time coming, but it, it was worth the wait. And dude, bro, this right here is obviously my figure of the year. This figure is the most amazing thing. It's the most amazing figure that has ever done been made. Like, bro, which which I, I, I'm not going to ramble on too much, but I just I just got to get get that out there. So throughout this review, I ain't even a lot of y'all. I'm probably going to be a little bit more biased, especially when I compare her to like her other counterparts of her figure line. Um, her second X figure line sisters, because I do have the other two. But getting into it, man, uh, just looking at this figure, man, like, bro, this is amazing. This is totally amazing. Like, bro, just just look at this. Like, this is like, this is just an awesome figure. Like, this is a really really awesome figure and and on top of that she even comes with a lot of accessories too like she's like her accessories bro like you you can't you can't complain like like she's worth the price that you that you spend like she's really amazing but enough ramble on let's get into her accessories okay getting into her accessories she will be coming with, I want to say, one, two, three, four, like four pairs of hands. So including the ones that she got on. So she has these two. She has two gripping hands for gripping her sword. Hold on, if you can see those. Then she has uh, two action-posed hands, like basically Finger spread it, but a little bit more with a like an action design to them. Then she has two peace hands, which if you watch enough anime, bro, you already know. You already know what these hand signs represent if you watch anime. <laughs> then she comes with this little cardboard, uh, this little cardboard box cutout right here, which I don't. I don't know what it says because it's in Japanese, but I have seen a picture of her holding this, like a dojin picture, or maybe it was an official picture of one of the video game artworks. I don't know, but getting into her faces, matter of fact, before we get into her faces, she also comes with three sets of breasts, including the two that's on her, her chest, so you get those. You get two these two right here where the front is cut out and you know the tip of her nipples pretty much show. So yeah, her nipples, because this is an adult figure. This ain't like a this is not a kid toy. Like you have to be over 18. You have to be you have to be 18 plus to own this figure because it is a hentai figure. So yeah. This is not a toy. This is for adults. She comes with two fully exposed breasts. Right there. Which I'm keeping my my hands on the on the nipples because YouTube purposes. So those are her other two sets of breasts. Then she comes with I I keep that one for last. She comes with Five sets of yeah, five sets of faces, including the one that's on. So it's like one right there, which is just pretty much a gentle, normal face where she's looking kind and sweet. Now, the other faces is where you finna get is <laughs> where you finna get off into some stuff. She comes with an evil looking face, which I've never seen her make this face in the anime, but maybe she makes it in the video games. But the video game that I have played, which I played a, the mobile game, I didn't see her look like this. So, but uh, I don't think she this I don't think this figure is based off of the anime. I think it's based off of 
one of the video game designs. So maybe this is a face from one of the video games or one of the artworks that the creator has done. Then you have this face right here, which is kind of like a, a I want to say a shy, a shy face. Where she's kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of like a little shy face. And then you have the face that they make when, you know, when they get captured and stuff happens. <laughs> you, you are, if you don't, if you've seen the anime, you already know what's going on. So, yeah, you have that face. Like, say, when Obero captures them. Then you have Latin, last but not least, the the most famous face to make if you're an anime girl, period, her Ahigao face. And if you know what an Ahigao face is, you already know what's going down when, a, when, when an anime girl makes this face. Now, she also comes with another accessory. Her other accessory, here I am hitting the camera. Uh, she comes with her ninja sword, which is, it's pretty dope. I, I wish they, I don't like the way it goes in use and to like to, to split, like, well, there's a little setup you got to do with it, but yeah, it's a ninja sword and to display her with the sword, it comes with a trick. You got to pull it out of the peg hole like this. Pull it out of the peg hole. It's going to be pegged in like that. And she'll come with a little sheath to where, to where you can plug it in. Plug it in like, hold on. Got to get it right on camera. Boom. Like that. And that can easily plug into her back like this. Which I don't, I don't like the way her sword plugs in, but it, it, it's all right. But anybody who's like a, a photo photographer who likes to pose their figures, if you get this figure, you're going to kind of knock the, you, if you're posing the head, you're going to kind of, it's going to get in the way. It's going to get in the way. You're going to knock it off. Like it, it pops off way too easily, but it, it's pretty dope. But that's the accessories for that. But hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. She also comes with a interchangeable crotch piece, which I'm going to have to make sure I got this fully covered up because this is something I really have to censor. She comes with a interchangeable V, if you get my drift. That is an interchangeable crotch piece, and it's a V part. That's and you already know what that is. And to display that, you pretty much pull that off. You pull that off. Hold on. Uh it's not bro, it's not you want to come off on camera. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, okay, so that's how you do it. It's an interchangeable crotch piece for reacting scenes that may have went on in the that went go on in the anime. And that is it for her accessories. Okay. So, head articulation maneuvers back and forth like that. There goes your head articulation swivels, and her arm goes up and down. She has a bicep swivel right here, single jointed elbow can reach all the way to her head. She has a ball joint on the wrist. She has a butterfly joint in the shoulders and her breast also articulates because you can change those for like hentai reasons, anime reasons. And yeah, I didn't wasn't plan on doing that, but yeah, that you can also interchange them and that's how you interchange them pretty much. You just lift them up and they come apart. 
and that's how you will be able to interchange the the breast now here's why i say she's the best figure of all time because this is a figure who can act that can actually pose she has can do a full ab crunch bruh full ab crunch like boom like you can actually get her to do some ninja stuff bruh some full-on ninja stuff and she, that's her going forward she can go back about that much get her arms out the way she can probably go back even further if you if you play with enough but i ain't finna play with it i don't i ain't finna do all that i don't want to mess up my figure because she's expensive she also tilts to the side in the waist her legs go out about that far can go like do that she has like a thigh a thigh swivel double jointed knee and she has a ball peg at the ankle which she could probably do like some nice matter of fact, can you yeah you can get like some good ankle pivot some good ankle pivot right there as sharp as promise said ankle pivot so yeah you can get a good ankle pivot and yeah pretty dope figure like that's the articulation now with that out of the way uh let's get into a little bit of size comparison she here she goes next to uh chung lee i'll put i'll put them back uh further there she goes next to a chung lee Here she goes next to a G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. Here she goes next to a, uh, a cut. Well, you know what? Oh, I know. I know. I know. I'll throw a kick bash in there. Here she goes next to a custom female ninja that that's a part of my personal collection. That's and that's a Figma, by the way. Figma Kasumi with a, a Kashima head. Here she goes next to. Uh, here she goes next to a Ninja Slayer. Damn. Goddamn Ninja Slayer. Here she goes next to Ninja Slayer. And here she is. Oh, here, well, here she goes next to a, a, a Marvel Legends Namor. So she fits and scales with all your Figmas, all your figure arts, and all your Marvel Legends and Hasbro figures. Here she goes next to an anime version of your boy. If I had an anime avatar that I done created. Here she goes next to a custom, well, not a custom, but a, another kick bash, practically. That boy Kota. That's pretty much me if I was an anime character. Uh, it, it looks like like on camera it looks like we're the same height, but she's actually kind of towering over my character. And here she goes next to an amazing Yamaguchi Psylop body mold, which is a custom ninja, but that's the amazing Yamaguchi body mold if y'all don't know and here she goes next to a jolter figma jolter figma jolter she's taller than jolter wait, wait a minute. And see it, it looks like she's like She's shorter, like she's about around the same height with most of them, but she's not. And but no, nah, she's tall. She's taller than Jalter. And here she is next to Minase, which Minase is towers over her. And here she goes next to Erica Kuramoto. One of the one of second axis slept on figures. 
So, yeah. Why she's not as tall as them, I don't know. But I'm glad they didn't make her as tall as them. Because if she was, then you wouldn't be able to fit her in with any of your other collections. But, yeah. And there she goes for the size comparisons. But overall, like, man, this is a pretty dope figure. Like, I really love this figure. Like, she is actually fucking amazing. Like, this is a real dope figure. Like, bruh, like, this is this figure is, like, really amazing. And and just because, I mean, I, I got I to gotta do it. <laughs> me being me, I have to get two. But, yeah, this is a dope figure, man. If you If you can find her for a good price, go pick her up. She's really amazing. Like I said, this is my figure of the year, man. And, like, this is, like, real dope. And, like I said, if you if you can find her for a good price, she, I know she's going for a lot. And I know she's going to be, uh, like, if you can find her, like, any for a good price, just keep an eye out for on eBay and AmiAmi. Because I know people sell used figures on AmiAmi. And I want to say Amazon Japan. But yeah, she's a dope figure. Go ahead, pick you up one because in the future, she will be very hard and rare to get, just like Minase. And trust me, Minase is hard to get. <laughs> yeah, but I do feel like there will be a Chinese knockoff of, of this figure, just like Minase. So I, if you're if you if you're not if you're not um like if you don't have a bad like any ill will like if you don't have any like bad feelings about buying bootlegs, I will say wait for that in case. But if you can and you got the money to spend, go go get you like an authentic version off of eBay. I mean, I know the scalpers be killing it with the scalping prices, but hey, I mean, man, if if you really like the character like I do, and you 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 got the money, you're willing to buy it, man. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it once you get it in hand. She's a real dope figure, man. I love this character. I love the anime. And I love the video games. And I had to, I had to get this, bro. Yeah, I had to get this. I really had to get all of them because I just like this line overall. Because, bro, like, these are these are posable anime figures. Anime, like, hentai action figures. Because, like, back in 2019, I, I asked myself, I'm like, bro, why don't we get no posable hentai action figures or no posable etchy anime for like not even just like anime characters just, just say figures like posable figures for like etchy from like etchy animes like adult like adult rated animes like say high school dxd or high school of the dead or um or freaking uh seki ray or something like that and little did i know this character right here, this this line had already dropped this character. Then they already planned on dropping this character and this character right here. And I'm like, bruh. So, yeah, my man, like. So, like, yeah, bro, the, the line is dope. I really love this line. So if you can get pick you one up, pick you one up. But this like that's it for today, man. This is your boy Fictional Arts. And I'm sending out, bruh. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go follow me over on Instagram. And I will catch y'all later. Just a quick little update. Um, for those of y'all who <clears throat> are looking for monsters and shit to put up against her, she does pair up with the um, Venom Toxin. So this is a size comparison that I missed out on. And if y'all know anything about Tamana Asagi and um, anime in general, they do go up against like these demon type uh, monsters with a bunch of tentacles and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, she does. She goes and scale with your G.I. Joes, your Figmas, H.H. Fig Yards, Marvel Legends, and... She scales perfectly with this monster. So if you want to put up against this monster, you can. So that's the last thing.